we're going to do student checkup Excel 1-1. So let's go ahead and open up Excel and get started. All right, so this is the screen that my Excel opens to. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to open a blank uh, workbook. So that's this selection right there. Now that we have our blank workbook, we're going to go ahead and save it. Go ahead and click Save As. That'll allow us to then browse. Uh, if you have your OneDrive there, go ahead. You, if you have your structure set up in your OneDrive, go ahead and save it there. If you have a uh, USB drive like I do, then you can go ahead and go to your USB drive and save your, your workbook there. It's in Excel Chapter 1, and it's going to be your initials, Student Checkup Excel 1-1. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enter some data, right? So we went ahead and saved it. Now I'm going to start in cell A1, which is uh, where it's already selected, right? You can tell it's selected. It's got that green outline. And so I'm going to go ahead and enter this data in, and I'm going to be going from A1 down the column. So starting to A1. So now I entered those first two. So what you can do is you hit enter, then uh, the selection go di goes down a row, right? So that's so okay. So I'm down to A3. I need to go all the way down to A5 and then begin my. We're going to go back up here. We're going to go to B4 right there and we're going to type in Monday. And then we have a bunch of numbers to type in here. So we can type in all these numbers here. So there's all of our numbers that we've typed out there. Now what we need to do is we need to complete the series on top. So we started with Monday. As you can imagine, it's going to be the rest of the days of the week along the top of our table there. So this is the fill handle right here, right? So you can see my cursor goes from the big white plus to the small uh, black plus, right? So I can click my left mouse key and hold it down and then slide to the right and you can see it's filling in there at each column that I slide over on that row and so I'm going to go all the way over to, to column H which will be Sunday and then uh, release the left mouse button at that time and it'll fill it in. Okay, At this point we're going to want to go ahead and center up that uh, text so all the days of the week are going to be centered. That's going to be up here in the home tab, right? So we've got that centered there. So we also want to put at the very end here, we're going to want to put our uh, total right there, which will be centered as well. And it actually says in the text to put totals with an S and, and in the example, it doesn't have the plural, but so uh, do what you feel is right there at that point. I'm not going to mark you off if you don't get the S on that one. So now we're going to go uh, to row four, and it's going to be right here with the days of the week. And we're going to go ahead and change our height, right? So we're going to be doing row height here. So that's just a right click on the mouse key once you're, once you're over on the four here, right? So I'm on four. Select the row by clicking the left mouse button and then the right mouse button, which will give me this option and I'll be able to select row height. And I'm right here at 4.4 4, or 14.4, so I'm gonna change that to 19.5 and then hit enter. I'm gonna auto size uh, column A right here. So that means I'm gonna put my uh, mouse, right, my cursor right here in between A and B, which gives me that, the arrows that are facing outward there from the line. And I'm gonna double click my left mouse button and that will auto size my column A and I'm also going to auto size column D. You can see right here, see Wednesday is kind of scooched in there. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the same thing to D. So I'm going to go to the 
right side of D between D and E, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double click right here and it'll uh, auto size that column. Okay, now I'm going to do some merge and centers. So we see here that our title is over to the left. So we really want it centered up into here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on A, right? This is A1. I'm going to hold my mouse, left mouse button down and I'm going to go ahead and uh, navigate all the way over to I here, column I in that first row. And then I can uh, let up on my left mouse button. And then I'm going to go up here and find, see this right here, up in the alignment uh, grouping on the home page, merge and center. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to merge and center my title. I'm going to do the same thing to the dates down below, all the way over to I and merge and center. And now what I'm going to do, so you can go ahead and close, uh, save and close your workbook. Uh, I have auto save, right? Right now is off. I can go ahead and just hit the save button here or hit control S. And it's going to save my workbook. And I can go ahead and uh, upload this workbook up into the uh, Canvas assignment link for uh, our student checkup Excel 1-1. Have a good day.